Hey boo! So, how you doing? Hey child and welcome back to my channel! We've gathered here today to get through this thing called life and to look at some new releases from Tracy Ellis's Ross collection, Pattern. Previously, she focused on things in the shower, so there were some shampoos, some conditioners, some leave-ins, some detangling products, styling things, all that hoorah. This time around, she focused on styling and also included a clarifying shampoo. I found out about this collection from my boo, Tresses of Alexis. Hey, girl! And so I'm going to go on Pattern.com and tell you about these new releases. There is a clarifying shampoo, curl gel, styling cream, stronghold gel, an edge control, a hobo oil hair serum and hydrating mist a wide tooth cup listen she got a lot of stuff going on but let's be honest let's be truthful they cost a pretty penny so in my budget friendly way of thinking i decided to get two things i got the curl gel and the stronghold gel so that's what we're going to focus on today so far i have washed my hair using her hydration shampoo it has a really nice lather it's not too drying i actually really like the shampoo currently in my hair i do have in the intensive conditioner i really do like this now be honest previously i tried the heavy conditioner and nope nope but this intensive conditioner is pretty cool. So I'm gonna go rinse my hair and we're gonna get this video started. All right, so I just rinsed out my hair. It's time to put on this leave in. It is once again pattern, honey. Might as well stick to the brand. So it's gonna hit, do this just like that. Right. I've got to get anti Tabitha out of my hair. So I'm gonna just rub some of this on just like this. Right. I'm gonna put on a leave in. And if you're new here, I swear by this method, I'm telling you this is the hill I'm willing to die on. Put your cap on top of your leave-in and it'll change your life. I just so happen to have an aggressively huge cap named Samantha. Just play along with everybody else. Say hi to Samantha. I'm gonna let this sit for a few minutes, let her marinate and do her th fizzle and I'll be back to try on these new gels. Actually, no, while my leave-in is marinating, I'm gonna talk to you about these gels. These are now silicone-free products. This is the Curl Gel. This is the Stronghold Gel. Now, listen, I got I got some issues. I got some issues. I went on the company's live stream, and this is what Rainbow Johnson said. Okay. This is the Curl Gel. This is, um, you can use it for a wash and go. It's a little more hold than the leave-in conditioner, and it's really good for you. Uh, it's really good for your hair. Um, it will give you a nice pop and curl, but won't make your hair crunchy. A girl like me, who her curls lean towards kinkier, when you tell me that a gel has just a little bit more hold than a leave-in, to me, my spidey senses go off and say that gel is not for me. So I, being a concerned citizen of the United States, ask the following question. Since this only is a little bit more hold than the leave-in, can we use the stronghold gel for wash and goes for people who have tighter textures? Their reply was, stronghold gel is not geared towards wash and goes, but can be used sparingly to add a bit of extra hold with curl gel. Now maybe Pattern doesn't know this, but those of us who have tighter curls and, and kinkier textures, a lot of us lean into those crunchier stronghold gels because it weighs down our curls to give us more definition. So that's why I ask this, but since they're saying don't do a wash and go with this stronghold gel, I'm gonna follow their instructions. I'm gonna do my wash and go with this gel that got just a little bit more hold than the leave-in, and I'm gonna put some of this on top. So let me go ahead and detangle. We're gonna get the show started. All right, it's time to put on the gel. Sorry I took so long talking to you, honey. I just want you to know I was doing my due diligence to make sure I gave them a fair and honest review. So let me go ahead and get this little piece of hair right here. So this comes out rather creamy. I don't know how much I'm supposed to use. Let me read the directions. It doesn't say, it says apply on wet hair for wash and goes, braids and twist outs or on damp hair or dry hair for slick looks. It doesn't tell you about amount, whether you use it sparingly or whatever. So I'm just take this. All right. So I'm just rub that in like so. See? This is just way too light for my preference. I don't like, I, there's a certain way I like my hair to lay when I put my gel on and this, this curl gel is not giving me that. I, I just prefer it to be more weighed down. It, it, it's a method to my madness and this isn't what I prefer because this usually will dry up and be frizzier. So I'm gonna follow their instructions. Like they said, if you want a little bit more hold, put this strong gel on top. Oh, okay, this looks like a regular gel that I'm used to. So I'm just take that and put this on my hair. Let 
Yes. I like that. Oh, I like that. All right, so let me try another section. So I'm looking at this more like a curl cream with a gentle hold and then putting the gel on top, similar to how I would use a curl cream and put wet line on top. So that's kind of the vibe it's giving me. So I'm gonna use it together like they said to do. Just rub this on and rake it in. So I'm gonna take some of this Stronghold gel. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, honey, that's beautiful. Let me try a section of hair with just the Stronghold gel to see what happens. On its own, it's okay. Like, this is what it's looking like. On its own, it's okay, but together, I really do like the products. Like, I'm loving the way it lays. Wait, 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 I'll take it back, I'll take it back. This is the part with just the Stronghold gel. Oh, I like that. Can y'all see that? Can y'all see that? That Stronghold gel is nice. But I do prefer them together. I do prefer it together. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to apply the combination of the curl gel with the Stronghold gel on top around my hair. What I can say is in filling this curl gel, this curl gel feels like it has moisture to it. Like I feel the moisture on my hands and even in applying it to my hair, I feel the moisture. So I really do like this. I'll treat this um, like a cream. And even in the future, because I only bought the small one of this because they said not to do a wash and go with it. In the future, I will use this and put my wet line on top um, when I run out of this because clearly this is going to be gone soon. But yeah, so far, I like this. Let me set the rest of my hair and I'll come back. Okay, so the more and more I apply this, this is the curl gel with the stronghold gel on top. I'm really loving the way my hair is looking. Like I... This is really surpassing my expectation. But to see what this curl gel is really working with, I'm gonna do this section of my hair with just the curl gel to see how it responds. So let's see. All right, so it's applied to both of these sections. This section is the curl gel with the Stronghold gel on top. I feel like it looks really nice. This section is the section with just the curl gel by itself. So again, Curl gel with the Stronghold gel. Just the curl gel by itself. A few moments later. All right, so the gel combination has been applied. All of this side has the curl gel with the Stronghold gel on top. This again is the side that has just the curl gel. My thought so far is Honestly, it feels very promising. Um, what I will say to those of you all who care about ingredients, this curl gel does have coconut oil in it. And both of these gels are very heavy in glycerin. It, glycerin is the second ingredient in here. That's why I felt like it was really moisturizing and slippery in my hand. It's the glycerin and then glycerin is also like the fourth or fifth ingredient in this Stronghold gel. One thing I will say about this Stronghold gel, when I say Stronghold, I'm thinking wet line, I'm thinking Ampro, I'm thinking crunchy brown gels. This is not that, this is more so medium. It definitely is, yeah, it is not what I would call Stronghold. It definitely seems stronger than this, but not Stronghold. I do like both products, really I do. Um, I would be willing to use this with wet line on top. I would 100% repurchase this again because it felt amazing. This Stronghold gel though, I would want to use wet line instead only because it's expensive. This line is definitely not for those who, you know, if you penny pension, you're going to sit this one out. But I do like it. I 100% do like it. I do feel some stickiness on me and I know that's from the glycerin. This honestly reminds me a lot of and I hate to say it, it reminds me a lot of my S-Curl product. Just because the amount of glycerin is in it, that's what it felt like in my hand. It feels like a more expensive auntie compared to that one. So I'm gonna let it dry, see what my hair is like. Does it crunch? Does it flake? All of that whole nine. Then I come back. Actually, I'm gonna let it dry. And before I stretch and pick, I'm gonna let you see what it's like so we can really evaluate it together. But I can honestly say I like them both. I just wouldn't repurchase this just because wet line is cheaper and that's just the honest facts. All right, I'll be back. And we're back. 
My name is Peter, and I'm the best. All of the DJs will never mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so my hair is dry. I haven't stretched it yet, clearly, but I wanted you all to see. First of all, look at this. Look, look. Do you see it? Okay, so this is what well, all of this is the side with the curl gel with the strong gel on top. This is my side with just the strong gel. And honestly, I feel like both of them look good pre-stretched. So I'm getting ready to stretch it out. Um, if you're not familiar, do I have it in here? I don't. I just put bands at my root and then kind of get under the dry just, just to let the heat do some stretching and then I pick it out some more. So I'm getting ready to do that and that's gonna be the real test to see how these gels lie. I wanna see how they perform with me stretching and all that, but I wanted y'all to see this and honestly, I truly like both. I'll be back. And here is the final look. This is the side where I use the Stronghold Gel on top of the Curl Gel. This side right here, I use the Curl Gel only. So, let's talk. So first of all, I was going to change my clothes just to put on the whole production and have on a cute little shirt or whatever, but I wanted y'all to see my shoulder. I did get flaking more so, um, it, it was a little bit on the side as you can see, I don't know if you can tell, but it was more so here where I shingled. So I don't know if I used too much of the curl gel with the strong hold gel on top or what, but it was mainly concentrated here. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're layering these products. I don't know what caused it, but again, I mainly got it here. So I, I don't know what caused that, but honey, Aspen on the shoulders. So I will say this, for the company as a whole, what I like about them is with the last release, a lot of people that follow the Curly Girl method, they said, we can't use your products because you have silicone. Evidently, Pattern listened. They took silicone out, uh, or at least it's not in these styling products. So I do applaud them for giving consideration to their consumers' needs. I applaud them for that. As far as the products themselves, my final thoughts, if you have fine hair, you are good to use this on its own. This actually is a really good product, especially because I do not have fine hair. Like my hair got a little bit of look, look, look kink to it. And this area, I feel like, even though I've received more definition from other products, I feel like this looks good. And that is with me not having the fine hair that other people do. So if your hair is finer than mine, you're good to use this on its own. Um, as far as the Stronghold Gel by itself, to me, it honestly is not strong holding. It is more so medium, especially since when I started picking and trying to volumize my hair, I lost a lot more definition than what I would get if I had used wet line. So it's not a strong hold gel, it's medium. Um, but overall, I do like it. So if you have fine hair and you put this on, honey, you're gonna be crispy. So I would definitely say if you are fine, don't use this for a wash and go on your fine strands too. My kinky girls or kinky boys like me who have that thicker, coarser hair, I would say this on its own is not wash and go friendly for those of us who have a kinkier or coarser hair strands. I don't think this would be good for wash and go on its own. Definitely top it with a stronger holding gel. Together, this combination is good or top this off with the favorite strong holding gel that you already have. If I had to repurchase anything, I really enjoy this. I just will hope that it doesn't flake when I put wet line on top of it. This, it was cool, but I prefer a stronger hold. But if you like the more medium hold, check this out. Overall, good products. I really do like what they have to offer this time around. I just would choose a different gel to put on top for a little bit more strength because this was a little, little, little weaker than what I prefer. Now, I don't think it's bad, be clear. Just because I prefer a stronger hold does not mean that this has a bad hold. I just like crispy hair, y'all, that's me. Give me some crispy, give me some oil. I can take the scrunching and all that and take the crunch out of it that I want to, but let me choose. They make the decision for me, which is cool, but overall, I feel like I got a nice, like my curls look good, but at the same time, this flaking, I don't know what caused it. Was it the combination? Did I do too much? But y'all can clearly see that on my hair. I, I don't know what that is. I don't, I don't know what that is, but I just want to be transparent. I got some flakes. All right, so if y'all have any questions, leave them down below. I will see you next time. And yeah, that's it for me. Bye, honey.
get your fake hair. So I just checked the ingredients on this Stronghold Gel and the second ingredient is PVP. So I can definitely understand now why the company said use this very sparingly on a wash and go that if you just need a little bit of extra hold, use it sparingly. Um, it, they want you to use this more so for a sleek like updo, ponytails and stuff like that. So I definitely understand. So I would just say to those of you all with kinkier textures that want to use this gel heavily, this is not the product for that. If this curl gel is not giving you the hold that you need, I would definitely say top it with the holding gel of your choice that, you, that you're familiar with that doesn't flake. Because if you use too much of this, you will get the flakes that I did get. So just keep that in mind to my kinky girls and kinky boys. Uh, use a different holding gel. Just use this for your updos and your ponytails and stuff like that. See y'all next time, honey.